I wonder why you can't hear me. Can you hear me now? I muted my mic. That's why you can't hear me. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Sorry about that. Uh, I literally muted my mic. Is it okay? Is the... S- <laughs> All right. Is um, the sound okay compared to the music of the actual game itself? Because I do not know what I'm doing. Also, I can't hear the music. Apparently, the Switch can only project sound onto one thing, and that will be the stream, and uh, not me. (laughs) So, ah, where did it go? Come back. Come back, you. One should come back. Can you hear? You can't hear the music. Why can you not hear the music? It's coming back, don't worry. That is coming back, but I don't know why you can't hear it. Can you hear it now? You should be able to, I think. Because I'm getting inputs. I'm getting inputs of sound. Yep, but it's quiet. Should I make it louder? Because I can. Also, let's just load into the game. Uh, I'll make it a little bit louder. Um, put it at minus... Sorry, I know this is, you know, very unprofessional. <laughs> but we are... Uh... You know, my first stream of Animal Crossing. I have no idea. You are much louder than the game sounds. Should I make myself quieter or the game sounds louder? I made the game sounds even louder than before. Is this okay? I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming for today. I've never streamed Animal Crossing before, so this is going to be entertaining. Also, I time-traveled back to 4 p.m. It's actually like 12 a.m. for me right now. But I time-traveled back to 4 p.m., Okay, keep it how it is. I like that. That's a good volume. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Where's Isabel? I already loaded into the game today. Um, but I time-traveled back to 4 p.m. Because I wanted it to be sunny and I wanted the shops to be open. It's 12 p.m. right now. A.m. for me. I just finished editing a video. I wasn't even planning on streaming today, but I finished editing tomorrow's video a little bit earlier than I planned. So I decided to try streaming. I've never streamed Animal Crossing. Um, so here we go. This is my island. I'm gonna give you an island tour first. I haven't done my dailies. Also, I need to get rid of everything that's in my inventory. Uh, let's start by that. I'm gonna start crafting, uh, some fish bait. There we go. While I talk to you and tell you guys a bit of a story. Um... (laughs) Oh, we have the same hairstyle. That's awesome. I'll show you all my villages as well. We need to give some of them gifts. I'm trying to get all of the uh, villager photos that I have. Like, all the photos for all the villages that I have. So, we're going to be giving some gifts today. And just doing my dailies, catching up on some stuff. Maybe doing a little bit of redecorating. Are you close to finishing the museum? No. I uh, only started playing the game in, like, July. And the first few months that I played it, I played it on Stefan's Switch, um, and then I had to give him that, his Switch back, because we live separately, and I can't, because he lives in Russia, and I can't just, you know, use his Switch. Um, so I ended up getting my own Switch, and when I did, it was already uh, October, I think, so I only have whatever bugs from October. All the bugs that I caught were on a different island, I ended up restarting, um, so I don't have anything from some, I only have the... And also, I don't really care too much about it. Uh, like, I don't care to catch everything. Like, I just play the game, and I don't really worry about all that stuff. Anyway, <laughs> I was uh, gonna say, I want to give you guys a little bit of a tour of my island. It's nowhere close to being done, mind you. I am very much, like, in the process of constructing it and playing it, but I mean, that's what the game is. Um, so I'll give you a bit of a tour, and then we're gonna do dailies. We're gonna probably replant some flowers, because I need to get that done. I've been procrastinating that for a while. Can we talk about anything? Yeah, we can talk about anything. Um, uh, all done for now. And then we'll see. Maybe we'll start... Uh, I want to do a bit of a farm thing. Uh, so, what is my favorite game? My favorite game is probably The Sims 2, although I do very much enjoy other games. Oh, yeah, let me show you my house. This is I d- have not decorated my house very much. Uh, these are all the villager photos that I have so far. These are all the villagers that are currently living on my island. I'm missing two. Um... Is that a DIY uh, the, for the door sign? I don't know. Uh, I think a villager gifted that to me. I think Leonardo gifted that to me uh, for the door sign. I found Judy uh, Island hunting in four tickets. I had Judy at one point as well, but I, I replaced her with Cherry because I needed a um, 
I needed a Sicily villager. Anyway, I was gonna show you my house. I haven't done anything to decorate it. I just basically, like, whatever items I had, I just sort of plopped them around a little bit. I've got the villager photos. I played this game, uh, I started, as I just mentioned, right? I started playing in July, and then I restarted again in October. And basically since then, I've had the general same amount of villagers. Oh, like, I mean, the generally the same villagers. I think I only had, like, two or three move away. And I didn't have a single, um, villager photo. And then I started trying to get them and they just all blew up in photos and I got all of these in like the span of four days or something. Anyway, I want to show you my bedroom because I think it's really cute. And then we're gonna go do stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I have music now on my uh, thing. Have you gotten the bridge to the other side Yes, yet? Yes, I'll show you in a second. But yeah, this is what my bedroom looks like. I think it's quite cute. It's very, very basic. I haven't done much decorating, but I think it's really cute. And uh... I like it. So yeah, there you go. Let's go now. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that is. Someone's asking me questions. I love your house especially, but thank you. I've got the fully upgraded house, but I haven't done anything with the rest of the rooms. What's the wallpaper name? Ah! Uh, pink quilt something, I think. Something like that. I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Alright, so this is what the outside- Oh, Julian is just walking around. This is what the outside of my house looks like. Oh, I've wanted to get rid of all my stuff. Okay, let me do that first. Sorry about that. I've been playing since launch and I haven't gotten a single villager photo. You know what I do? Tammy is a villager. Oh no, I don't have that. Him. Her. I don't know. Uh, I give my villagers... Uh, fossils. Assess fossils. As gifts. Portable record player. I think I, uh, a lot of these things I ordered or oh, got as gifts or something. I don't know. I forgot to get rid of all of this. Oh yeah, festival is soon, so I've got a balloon lamp. Uh, get rid of the wasps. I'll sell those. I've got a DIY I want to get rid of. Okay, so I have two villages left that I need to give gifts to because I'm trying to get their photo. Do I have any duplicates of fossils? Basically any fossils that I find I, and that Blathers already has, I put in here. And then, yeah, I've got duplicates. And then I get rid of the duplicates to um, give to villagers. And then I wrap, oh, wrong thing. And then I wrap them. Because <laughs> uh, that gives you extra points. And um, giving assessed fossils is basically the best thing you can really give them. It increases your friendship points. If, if you don't want to be giving them um, if you don't want to be giving them furniture, because if you can give them furniture, then that's even better. Like expensive furniture, but if you don't want to do that, then you can just give them assessed fossils. See, I've got like a few flowers, a few models here, and I think it looks really cute. I've got a snow person. Uh, I have this patch of roses, because I was trying to make blue roses, but I'm probably going to get rid of this at some point. Potentially today with you guys, because I already got blue roses, so I don't need that, although that took a, took a while. But yeah, we've got a little bit of a DIY stand here where I plop all of my DIYs. I've gotten way too many now. I should get rid of this one as well. I have way too many. I'm probably gonna do a giveaway um, at some point uh, for you guys and just give all these DIYs away because I've got like a ton of DIYs that I don't need. Um, so join the Discord server if you want to. The Discord server is linked in the description. And um, yeah, we... I will host an event there. But yeah, I've got my blue roses here. I got one from that field and then I just started multiplying them and then I got another one from that field after I multiplied like five already. Um, so yeah. I was trying to multiply my purple... I cannot pronounce this flower name. Hy oh, actually I don't need to water them because I'm going to move them today. Hyacinths? Hyacinths? I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, so we've got a little beach here. Nothing special. Oh. Come here. Come here, you. I want that. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't even fish, but I always collect uh, this for fishing. All right, so this is the main entrance, right? Uh, I've got a yellow airport, and this is my main entrance. This is what it looks like. I've got some Santa gift packages here that I still haven't gotten rid of from uh, Christmas. The Yule log. I've got some coffee stuff, two benches, and then you go up, and this is my... Um, I'm probably going to do a cafe area here. I wanted to do a, um, sort of... I forget words. What is this? Like, guitar, string, band thing. I wanted to do a band, but uh, I'm probably going to do a cafe area here later. I went with a sort of orange-white combo, because I really like these orange flowers. Uh, but yeah. Ooh, they're already decorated for festival. I didn't even notice. That looks cute. 
Um, so yeah, that's what you get going up. And then if you go further up, I got a lily of the valley flower because my <laughs> my island was five stars for like a week before I bombarded it with the DIY recipes, and now it's not a four, not not a five star island anymore. Uh, but there you go. And then we've got a little sort of seating area here uh, overlooking my uh, money trees, <laughs> which I think is pretty cool. Um, and then we've got my nook's cranny here, which I need to decorate. Oh, 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 is that a balloon? I cannot hear the balloons because I don't have sound. If you guys hear a balloon, let me know. <laughs> I managed to see this one, but I can't hear anything, so. Uh, what's in that? I don't think I'm missing any of the DIYs, actually, so. Vintage TV tray. Perfect. I don't think I really need that, but I'll, I'll take it. Uh, and then we've got this little area next to Nooks, which I think is kind of cute. I'm still thinking of what I... Okay, I can't sit down. Why can I... There we go. I'm still thinking of... Was this a thumbnail? I think this was a thumbnail, yeah. Uh, what I should place here, I'm thinking about it, I don't know. And what I should do here. I might do like a flower patch, but I might do something else. I'm not sure. Uh, and then we've got a little pond here. Uh, and down here. Oh, I didn't show you this. We've got a little garden thing. I'm missing a couple of flowers. I'm missing the green mums which I need to put here instead of these yellow ones. Uh, and then I'm missing the purple pansies, I think, and something else purple, purple windflowers. But overall, this is what it looks like. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Uh, I haven't played in a couple weeks. What is, what festival is coming up? It's festival. It's a event. It's coming up on the 15th. Uh, I don't know much about it, to be honest, but I know that it's happening. <laughs> That's basically all I can tell you. Uh, Pave, which is a uh, returning character. This is the first Animal Crossing game I've played for context. But Pave is apparently a returning character who is going to be hosting that event. Oh, anyway, so we've got a little sort of like village area for the villagers. So this is Flora's house. This is Julian's house. Hey, Leonardo, he's wearing this apron that someone gave him. Uh, let's chat. <laughs> Yeah, all right, uh, this is Vic's house. I decorated Vic's house. I'm trying to decorate their uh, yards to sort of match their aesthetic. Vic looks like a pirate, looks like a Viking, and then his house, the inside of his house looks like a pirate's house. So I decorated it in the sort of piratey theme. I give him the beekeeper's hive for whatever reason. Um, and then we've got Cherry, who is, oh, there's Vic. Oh, Vic is talking to Olivia. Let's see what they're talking about. Uh, sometimes. Uh, do you like to cook, Olivia? I'd rather be waited on. Yeah, I mean, same. I did a meal prep yesterday for like the entire week, and I would much rather someone did that for me. <laughs> I could teach you an easy recipe. I like to see them bonding. <laughs> I like to see my villagers bonding. Whenever I see two villagers talking, I always like to... Oh, there's a thing. I always like to click on them, see what they're talking about. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, which much further away. All right. All right. Okay, nope. Okay, come on, come on, come on. There we go. I always like to see what they're talking about, because um, I think it's cute. 5,000 bells, I'll take that. <laughs> uh, do you recommend to this game for someone who has played Stardew Valley before? I mean, Stardew Valley is probably like either my most favorite, top three for sure. Stardew Valley is, where, where was that thing? Stardew, I love Stardew Valley, basically. Um, it's very different, like it's very similar, but at the same time it's very different in the pacing. Like this game is designed to be played in real time and that can be a little bit frustrating to someone who, where was that thing? Where was the clam? Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. It can be kind of frustrating to someone who's used to Stardew Valley's fast pace where you can like skip the days really quickly. Um, but I also find it very relaxing. I find it as like a companion to my day. I log onto it a bunch of times throughout the day um, whenever I have some downtime and I, it just kind of is like an everyday companion to me. So I very much enjoy it. Um, I'd say like watch, the, the there is no gameplay. Like for Stardew Valley, um, there is gameplay, like there is a storyline, there is quests that you can do. For Animal Crossing, it's more about literally just decorating your island. The entire game is decorating your island. If you enjoy the atmosphere and you enjoy logging onto it every day to like grind a little bit, um, 
like see your villages and do stuff like bit by bit every single day, then yeah, it's a game for you. If you're not into those kinds of games, maybe not. Uh, but yeah, there's no like actual gameplay here. It's literally just about decorating your island and making it look pretty. Um, so there you go. It's also a community game. So if you've got friends playing it, I think it could be really fun for you. Anyway, this is my villager thing. And then we've got my um, unorganized orchard. This was not meant to be an orchard. I just needed someone to plant these uh, and I never got rid of them. So they are here. I'm planning on making a mini orchard at some point, but maybe somewhere else. Uh, all right, so here's Poppy. This is my favorite villager of all time. She's never leaving my island. Also, I don't think I got my... Uh... Maybe I did. Did I get my bottle today? I think I did actually. Anyway, going up, we've got the rest of the villagers. We've got Alice here who loves to read. So I gave her a little reading nook. She mentioned to me once that she likes to read and I see her reading a lot. So I gave her a little reading nook uh, and a little thing here to chill as well. This is Poppy. I gave her the mum's tea cozy thing. I think it's cute. Uh, this is her yard. Then we go upstairs. We've got Leonardo who is a jock who likes to do stuff. Uh, and then here we've got Eric. I think I should go in and check uh, to see who, ah, who was I? I needed to give a gift to Cherry and Flora. I wanna see who's crafting. Hi, what's the latest? Oh, thank you, thank you very much. Ooh, gifts, thank you. I was not expecting that. I gave him a butterfly because I didn't realize that by giving him a butterfly, he will display that in his house. <laughs> Uh, very vague question, but any major tips for beginners? Don't get overwhelmed. Don't, don't, bleh. don't go looking at other people's islands and getting overwhelmed with what their islands look like. Because that will distract you from actually playing the game. The game is meant to be enjoyed. The actual game is about making your island look like how you want it to look like. The game is about the process of creating your island. Someone who already has, so I'm trying to find whoever's crafting. Um, someone who already has their island put together, like they're bored because their island is already done. Like your end goal shouldn't be a perfectly manicured island. Your goal should be to enjoy playing the game. I see too many players get overwhelmed and disheartened by looking at um, other people's amazing manicured islands and then just being like, oh, I can't do it like this. That's not the point. The point of the game is to enjoy yourself. I swear, Flora is crafting. That's gonna be so annoying. Cause I need to give her, I need to give her the gift. Anyway, just have fun and then, oh yeah, of course she is. Uh, and try to integrate yourself into the community cause it's a community game and you can get so much. Oh wait, I could have given her. I could have given it to her, right? Do we need something? Here's a gift. I didn't realize I could give them to them when they're crafting. Uh, what is it? What is it? Something like this. It's a very fun game when you're playing within a community because you can trade stuff um, and it's fun. So. That's why I'm trying to get the majority of people. <laughs> I'm trying to get you guys to uh, come join my Discord server so I can play with you. So come join the Discord server. Maria, it's, mi it's past midnight. It's bedtime. Okay, I'm going to bed at like 4am. Don't worry about me. But thanks for coming, Jake. Hi, Jake. <laughs> All right, let me show you the... Also, I gave Flora fish. Yeah, she... I didn't give it to her. And I didn't give Eric the, the butterfly either. They were like, oh, I see you have the fish in your inventory. Can I buy it from you? I was like, yeah, whatever. And then I realized that they display them in the houses. So never doing that again. Is it a Nintendo game? Yes, it's on the Switch. So I've got Olivia. Oh, oh. I've got Olivia. I've got Sherb, Leonardo, Eric, Flora, Julian, Vic... Cherry, Alice, and Poppy. Poppy is my absolute favorite. She's never leaving. Mm. Your phone looks different from mine. Yeah, you can get a... Um, you can get a... Phone case thing. I don't know how to call it. There you go. You can get a phone case customizer thing from Nooks. 40% uh, of Switch own owners own Animal Crossing. Pretty insane. Jake, I bought the Switch to play Animal Crossing. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, flamingos, I didn't know they existed in the game. Flora is technically an ostrich, uh, but she is a flamingo, yeah. Anyway, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my God, she replied to me. You do realize I see the chat, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> I do see the chat. Thank you for coming, by the way. Anyway, let's go up and up. I am planning 
Oh, we can make a ridiculous snowman because I have all the DIYs now. Let's do that. Uh, you're missing out on so many good games. Jake, I don't have the money. <laughs> I genuinely don't. I am very much broke right now. I cannot afford any more games. Although, I mean, I would if I could. I want to play some Mario games, but they're like 60 pounds each. Like, who pays 60 pounds for a game? I mean, I paid 60 pounds for this game, but I, I can't afford to do that. So, maybe at some point. Maybe at some point. Uh, what was I saying? Yes, I see the I see the glowing spot. Don't worry, we're gonna get that in a sec. Um, yeah, to for those of you who don't know, creating snowman, if you do them perfectly, gives you a DIY recipe. But I already have all the DIY recipes, so we're gonna create a ridiculous snowman today. And one that is too big. I've been trying to do you know what actually? I've seen people uh, I've seen people on like Reddit or wherever create these snowmen where like the bigger part is the head But whenever I try to do that, this is what happens like it just won't connect Why like how how do people get it so that the bigger part connects to the like as a head? Switch games never go down in price in because of exclu exclusivity. Good luck getting get games cheap. I mean, I'm just hoping that at some point I just have more money and then I can buy them. I'm not hoping for them to go down. <laughs> but we will see. I like how round your face is. Yes. Uh, make the bottom one bigger. Wait, I want to make the top one bigger because then it's funny. Oh, there we go. <laughs> wonderful. Just wonderful. <laughs> That's some snowy sarcasm. Or snowcasm, in case, in case you're wondering. You know, as my headball was rolling end over end, I had a feeling I was gonna end up like this. I would have said something, but I didn't have a mouth yet, and now I just feel uncool. <laughs> I, I find this so funny for some reason. Like, it's, it's stupid, but it's funny. <laughs> What's Stardew Valley? Stardew Valley is a game. You can also get it on the Switch, I think. Uh, but I play it on the PC. It's a fun game. You should try it out. It's also relatively cheap. Well, it's much cheaper than this. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Bells. Yes, we're gonna put that in my inventory and plant it. Uh, over on my thing later. Uh, anyway. I was gonna show you my island. I don't think I hit my rocks today. I haven't done anything here. I'm thinking of doing an outdoor gym. Because, you know, of Leonardo, he wants to do that. Um, I also want to do a... Um, that's how you grow money tree? Yeah, you find the glowing spot. There's one glowing spot on your island per day. You dig up the thousand bells and then you put 10,000 in. Um, what was I saying? I want to... I want to make a flower... Or a flower... A tree orchard. But I don't want to make a huge one. Because I've seen people with, like, giant, giant orchards. I don't want that. Uh, have you unlocked terraforming? Yes. Uh, I've got a five-star island. Well, I don't anymore because I have DIYs all over my island. But if I had didn't have DIYs all over my island, I would have a five-star island. I'm skipping so much on my thoughts. I'm trying to say one thing and then I think about five other things and I say that. Um, I want to create an orchard, but I don't want it to be a huge orchard. And I've seen some stuff on Pinterest, which is where I get my inspiration from. Pinterest, Reddit, Facebook groups is where I am at. And that's where I get my most of my inspiration from. Uh, but I saw a really cool one where you've got like the silo and you've got sort of like a farm thing where you've got like bees and you can do beekeeping and then you've got a few pumpkins and um, what are they called? The turnips. And then you pretend like you use the mum cushions to pretend that they're like cabbages. So it looks like you've got um, like stuff farming there. And I'm thinking of either doing it here or like down here. Oh, of course. Of course. Uh, or potentially like down here. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, my thing is I don't want to terraform too much. Like I have unlocked terraforming. But I'm, I don't want to do it too much because I want to keep the natural sort of look of the island and I'm terrible at terraforming. Um, so yeah. I, it's, it's nearly 1am for me. I time traveled to 5. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's, uh, so the shops are still open and stuff and it looks a bit brighter outside. Do you have a dream address? No, I don't at the moment. I might make one if you guys want me to. Uh, I don't feel like my island is done yet, so I haven't really got a dream address, but if you want me to make one, I can make one. Anyway, this is Red's Beach. I decorated it a little bit as well. Uh, a bit of a pirate theme. Uh, and then up here, we've got my flowers, because when I transferred from Stefan's game, from Stefan's Switch to my Switch, 
I uh, brought a ton of flowers with me and now I have this to organize them because if I don't do this, these are just like regular custom paths. Uh, if I don't do this, then with all the snow that we're getting, it is insane how much they expand and my island just explodes with flowers. Do you know how many flowers I had to throw away because they just, they completely engulfed and took over my island. Um, so I separated them into pieces so that I can then use them. Let me flower, uh, water these flowers because I actually want these to grow. So I separated them so that then when I actually finally decide where I want to use them because I haven't yet, I can just come here and pick them without them expanding like crazy. Uh, so yeah, these are what my flowers look like. I breeded them all myself. Bre breeded? Bred. So I'm very happy with that, very proud. Mm, I think this is not correct. I think this is a white one. So let's take this out and then water them again. Do you know what? I time traveled back to get sunlight. That was the entire purpose. And yet somehow I managed to try time travel back to when it's sunset. So that's very smart. <laughs> if the stream goes on long enough, maybe we'll get to see the dark as well. Well, oh well, it doesn't really matter that much, I guess. I'm a bit late, but I'm here. Welcome! Welcome. I know this isn't the content that you guys subscribed to me for. Uh, people do not subscribe to me <laughs> to watch Animal Crossing, but this is a, you know, bonus stream anyway. I wasn't planning on streaming today. So you get what you get. <laughs> uh, do you play Animal Crossing often? Every day! Every day. I like Animal Crossing a lot. I play every day. Anyway, so I've got my museum here uh, with a little thing here. I don't know how to describe this. Like a little plaza area. Do I have any fossils? I do, but whatever. Um, I've got this thing. I want to make a sort of um, scientific lab um, educational nook thing, which is why I've got fossils here. I'm trying to decide which fossils I want to keep for this area. So I just like dumped all the fossils that I think will look good here. I've got an octopus because I think that's awesome. Um, but I haven't done much here yet. So it's like a work in progress. It's just sort of here. All right, let's go here. Got my pumpkins, which I don't care about at the moment. I'm not gonna do anything with them. Oh, money, 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 money. I plant all my trees in the same space because otherwise I forget about them. <laughs> How long have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing on this Switch. As I said, I used to play on my husband's Switch. I started in July, but then I started on this Switch in October. Uh, so a few months. A few months. Anyway, let's plant this. There we go. Where? I need to find Cherry. She might be in a shop somewhere. I don't know. Is Blathers supposed to be awake at this time? Oh, I've got a fossil over there. I should get that. Uh, I've got the regular switch. My native fruit- okay, Blathers is asleep, which means nobody's in the museum. That's a good way to tell. If, if Blathers is awake at a time when he's not supposed to be awake, that means someone's in the museum. So I don't need to look for that- for Cherry there. Uh, what was- what was my native fruit? My native fruit is peaches. I just got a house. How do I play with friends? You need the Nint Nintendo Online subscription. Uh, and you need friends, which you can find online if you don't have anyone in real life to play with. Uh, you can join, like, I, I'm on a Reddit group, I'm on multiple Facebook groups, I'm uh, on the Discord server for Animal Crossing, and that's how you find friends to play with, typically. Also, you can just join my server, because we have people there as well, and we've got a separate um, tab for Animal Crossing. Anyway, this is my campsite area. I just wanted to show you this as well, because this is actually finished. Uh, this is what my campsite area looks like, and I think it's cute. So this is where the tent goes. Uh, also that text, I don't know what it's supposed to say, but I think it says chill. Well, at least it looks like it says chill and I think that's cute. So, cutting down trees is bad for the environment. I replanted it, didn't I? I cut down one and then I replanted the other. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is what my campsite area looks like. I think it looks pretty cute. Uh, you can't really get in there to sit down, but nonetheless, I think it's pretty cute. Whenever these items came out, I was really happy because I really liked them. Uh, over on this side, I haven't done much, but I want to eventually make a... Oh, I didn't realize you were here. Hello. Hello, CJ. Hello. I need to get a model in. 
So maybe we'll do some fishing today, because I don't think I have three fish. Uh, oh, see, see, CJ is talking about a live stream on a live stream. Okay, not now. That's pretty meta. <laughs> He'll be here until 5 a.m. Great. Maybe we can get some fish for him. And then over on this side downstairs, I've got this. I'm planning on making this area or the area below it, which has a fossil. I need to get that. Um, I'm either making this or the area below it into an outdoor library because I think outdoor libraries are cute and I want to make one. Um, but I'm still working on that. There we go. Are there any fossils here? I'm just to double check. I don't think that's a perfect one, so I won't talk to him. He's not going to give me anything. Okay, no, no fossils here. Let's just go back over there. <laughs> Alright, so now I've basically shown you everything. I still want to show you my... Um, what is it? Able sisters. I forgot the word. I want to show you my able sisters because that's actually relatively done as well. And then we're going to do like daily tasks. And we need to find Cherry because I've lost her. <laughs> she might be in a shop actually. But yeah, I haven't done much to my beaches either. Oh, this, I've got items lying around here. Basically, I saw on Pinterest someone did like um, a hair salon type of thing. Oh where they used these items. Can I not rotate them? Why can I not rotate? Okay, well, they're not rotating. They used these items and then they put these uh, sinks like behind them to imitate a hair salon type of thing. And I want to do that, but I want to get a custom path for that first. And I wasn't able, haven't been able to find a custom path that I like yet. So we'll see, maybe, maybe we'll do that today, maybe not. Oh, I just missed a clown. Whatever. Did I get all the fossils for today? I think so. Yeah, I got four. So, we've got this little piece of beach. And then this is my Able Sisters. I think it looks cute. I think this is relatively finished. Um, so I've got a little seating area outside. And then to the side here, we've got this, which I don't really know how to describe, but there's the loom. And you've got like some sewing stuff. Basically whatever is anything connected to making clothes, I put here <laughs> so and then we've got a little laundry area here which makes more sense when it's not winter <laughs> I must say I am slightly tired of the snow uh, but it's going away this in like four weeks right so yeah right I think this looks cute all right now that I've shown you my island because now that we go back here it's just where we started. Let's go try and find Cherry. She might be enables. What happens when you complete your island? Nothing. You're just happy. <laughs> Hopefully. There's no end game. It's an it's an it's a nah, I can't speak. It's a sandbox game. It's like an open-ended game. There is no end goal or end game. Like nothing happened. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, how disappointed are you when you catch a black bass? Black bass? How do you pronounce that? I don't know. Very disappointed. I really don't like them. Um, I wanna... I already did. Talk to Sable. I already did. Don't worry. Because um, I played this morning a little bit. Um, I am trying to get all the models for all the fish and bugs. Well, not all of them because that's going to take forever. But like whenever I see Flick or CJ, I try to get a model in. Uh, and I'm not even going to do one for the sea bus base thing. I don't like them. <laughs> They're annoying. There you are. Of course, I knew you were in here. Uh, what, what? Do you want this? There you go. I don't even remember what's in there, but have it. I don't know how to pronounce that, but there you go. Never thought I'd have that. Terracloth nightgown. Perfect. I like the nightgowns. I think they're cute. All right, I want to get this. Uh, purely because, yeah, wasp head model. I don't actually want this item, but whenever I find wisp, which is like a little ghost that you see on your island at night sometimes, uh, and then when you complete the quest that he gives you, uh, I always choose something new because I don't care about expensive stuff. I just want something that I don't have. And for whatever reason, he keeps giving me the models of 
different insects. And I don't like them. And I don't think I have this one yet. So I want to buy it so that he doesn't give it to me because I don't want it. <laughs> uh, Alright, I want to get rid of all of this stuff. I need to get rid of all of this stuff. Oh, I forgot to. I forgot to sell this stuff. So that's why I bought it, even though I don't like it. I'm probably just going to sell it back to them right now. <laughs> I don't want it. I don't like them. I don't like bugs. I don't like stuff on, like, heads of stuff. I think it's weird. So please take it off of me. All right, uh, I'll keep these. Vintage TV tray I don't need. These can go away. This can go away. Snowy knit cap, I'll leave. This can go. This can go. And this can go. Also, honestly, you can probably go. I'll keep it for now, but potentially can go. All done, I can buy it for 6,000 bells. There we go. <sighs> All right, so I wanna start, I need to do my dailies. I planted, I got all the fossils. I planted the money tree. I need to, I'm saying this out loud, so you can remind me if I forget. I need to get a scallop to see, um, what's his name? I forgot his name, but I need to get a scallop. I need to hit all my rocks. I need to, what else, what other dailies do I have? Talk to my villagers, I already did that. All right, well, I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna start with replanting all of these because I only had like three to begin with, but now I have so many. I kind of don't really need them here anymore. I use, I planted them here so that I have easy access to them so that I can just like uh, water them whenever, but I don't need that anymore because I've got plenty of them and I can just leave it up to the rain, to the forces of nature in uh, virtual reality. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just gonna take all these. Um, I just started playing Animal Crossing on Christmas Day. Oh, you got it for Christmas. That's awesome. So I never saw my island without snow. And second, what happens after you build the shop? Oh, what happens after you build the shop? There's a bunch of... Basically, if you're just starting the game, there's like a storyline up until a point. Uh, if you talk to Tom Nook a bunch and just ask him what should I do, he should tell you what to do and we'll progress the storyline. Uh, once you build the shop, you can upgrade the shop after I think a month or something. Uh, you can also build the clothes shop and then slowly you start unlocking stuff and getting access to stuff like you'll get fences Of course my shovel broke uh, You can get fences to decorate your island. You can get paths eventually to decorate your island and Then you can unlock terraforming to be able to manipulate cl cliffs and rivers um, So you unlock a bunch of stuff and then also you get KK Which is um, for, uh, singer. <laughs> I just realized that probably doesn't make sense. Uh, how can I get shops? Talk to Tom Nook. I don't remember to be honest. Like I, because I got went through the storyline ages ago. Uh, talk to Tom Nook. Just come up to him and click the "What should I do?" thing, and he should tell you what to do. What villages do you have? I already went through them, but let me go through them again. I've got Olivia. I've got Sherb, Leonardo, Eric, Flora, Julian, Vic. Cherry, Alice, and Poppy. Poppy is my favorite. Um, do you know what? I actually had absolutely no idea what villages were popular. And turns out, like, Sherb, I think, is, like, number one or something. Uh, Flora is pretty popular. Julian is very popular. Eric is very popular. Um, Cherry is popular. Poppy is popular. <laughs> and I had no idea. I, um... I just got them on, like, villager hunts randomly, and I thought they looked cute, so I took them, and then I started like watching more videos and looking at the charts and I realized that they were like really popular villages and I was like, okay, cool. So that's awesome. <laughs> what villages do you want? I don't really care that much. I kind of want to get Mira, uh, which is like a superhero bunny thing, person. Oh, look, the sunset is like actually starting now. Uh, I kind of want to get Mira because I had Mira on my old island and I really liked her. <laughs> All right, let's get back to shoveling. Let's get back to shoveling. I like all the cat villages. I really like cats and the cat villages are cute. Uh, 
Olivia is really nice as well. She's, um, I don't remember what personality type. Smug, I think? Is that, is that the female version? Whatever the female version of Smug is. Cause I think Julian might be Smug. I don't remember, but she's like really, oh, snooty. I think that's what it's called. Okay, my pockets are full, well, whatever. Go back there. I can't say I love the personality type, but she is cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I need to create a custom path thing somewhere here as well. So these don't like Expand like crazy mm. Maybe I need a pretty big one cuz I've got quite a lot of them All right Do 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 how do you get the mush lamps? Uh, it they were something you could have gotten during the mushroom season, which was when? September, October, potentially even November. I think it was the entirety of, uh... no, I think it wasn't September. October, anyway, sometime in, in autumn, you could have gotten them as DIYs. You can't get them now unless you time travel. Uh, all right, I need to block off an area, but I don't know how big of an area I want to block off. Because I also want to get the blue roses in. Maybe like this. Mm. I think it was November. Yeah, potentially. I just don't remember. I think it was a while though. Like it might have been November and uh, October as well. I don't remember. Alright, so this is going to be my blue roses. Because I don't need that many. Right? I don't need too many blue roses. And then the purple hyacinth thing that I cannot pronounce will be here. I need to get rid of these trees, or at least move them. I don't want to get rid of them necessarily. One, two, three. Three trees in my way. Let's go get some fruit. Mm. <laughs> I love how I'm here watching this even though I know nothing about this game. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. It's just, you know, it's not... Uh, it's just a game where you chill and you do stuff. Oh, of course, my pockets are full. Yeah, why... Just drop it. Why would I? Why would I remember that? Why would I remember that? <laughs> Let's go plant these somewhere. I wanted to. Okay, these are gonna go here. I just. I'm gonna plant three to make enough space for the. Peaches. I forgot the word. <laughs> I want to replant the trees. I want to put them somewhere else. I don't know where I want to put them, but somewhere else. Because they're in the way of progress. <laughs> All right. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, eating peaches or any fruit, including like coconuts and turnips, I think as well, actually. Turnips and uh, pumpkins, mm, I think work for this as well. But basically it gives you like super strength. Uh, where you can crush rocks and like destroy them if you want to get rid of a rock or if you don't like the placement of rock you can crush it entirely and then it will respawn somewhere else and you can just uh, pick up trees and put them in your inventory because that because oh, that definitely fits in your pocket for sure nothing unrealistic here at all yeah look at that just up in my pocket there you go look at that tiny <laughs> all fruit works yeah yeah it does. Oh, why? I. Oh, come on. <laughs> I mixed up turnips and tulips. You can eat flowers? No, you can't eat flowers, but you can uh, wear them on your head if you want. Where should I put these trees? I don't really have that many um, spaces for them. Okay, do you know what? One of them is going here somewhere. Oh, of course. <laughs> Not enough space, yeah. Come on. There you go. Uh, somewhere here maybe? Not enough space? Why? Why? Why you be like that? There you go, another one here and then we just need one more. This is like my foresty area, so I'll just like pop it here somewhere. So I don't want to get rid of it because um, trees are pretty. And also use them for wood. <laughs> and I need wood. So we're keeping them. All right, I need, a f I want to have, quite a few of these. So I'm gonna make the area a bit bigger. Don't we all carry trees in our pockets? Exactly. 
Exactly. It makes total sense. Like, why why would we not put a tree in our pockets? Do you know? Like, everyone does that. That's such a fun thing to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's... That's a decent size, right? I don't know if I'm ever going to use these flowers, to be honest. Like, I keep all of these because, like, I don't want to breed them again. Uh, whenever I do want to use them. But I have no idea if I'm actually going to be using them. I'm done building. I don't like that hat. I don't like how the hat looks, so I like to finish as soon as I'm done. <laughs> so I wish it didn't take that long. Like, all these menus and dialogues in this game take forever. I wish they didn't. Like, it would make playing the game so much easier. <laughs> Especially the ones for, like, flying. Those take forever. Like, a ridiculous amount of time. In every Animal Crossing game that I've played, you can only put roses in your mouth. I was hoping New Horizons would be different and that you wear them uh, in your hair instead. I think you can? Can you not wear roses in your hair? I know that you can put them in your mouth. But... I'm pretty sure you can also wear them in your hair. Um, will there, maybe... Uh, be some island visiting later in the stream. Uh, not today, unfortunately, purely because I actually want to do that, but I cannot purely because I have a terrible internet connection. I think I, I talked about this on my story at one point, but that was ages ago and most of you probably don't remember. Basically, the internet that I have here, when we moved, we realized that we can't have fiber optic here, uh, which is great. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna fall. We don't have fiber optic in this area, which is absolutely fantastic. Especially for a YouTuber who like literally works on the internet and streams. Um, and the only internet that we could get was either really slow, like one megabit per second, which is insane, um, or 4G, and 4, which is what we ended up getting. But 4G doesn't work with the Switch. Oh, oh look at that pretty sunset. Oh, I love the weather in this game. Uh, so the way that I had to set it up is... Oh, oh, I love how the wheels turn when you move it. That's awesome. The way that the 4G internet is set up means that I can't um, visit other people's islands. And the way to do it is basically through my phone as a hotspot. And I just... I can do that, but I can't do that right now. Um, so not not today. But at some point, nope. I need to get rid of these. <laughs> I mentioned this before, but join the Discord server. Uh, then make sure to give yourself the Animal Crossing tag, which you can do in the rules section, I think. Um, or the welcome section, either one, I don't remember. And then I'll be pinging you guys to let you know about the giveaway event. Because I want to give all these DIYs away. Hi, Mash, I just joined. Hi, welcome. Welcome. Hope you enjoyed the stream. It's a bit weird to be streaming Animal Crossing for me, but nonetheless, hope you enjoy. All right, let's go replant these flowers. Because I don't want them anymore. There we go. All right, um, how many do I actually have? One, two. I don't even like the blue roses, to be honest. Three. Oh, I have six. No, seven. Uh, I don't like the way they look. I don't like the color. I mean, I like blue, but I don't think it, I like the blue rose. I don't even know why I have them. I just have them to have them, to say that I bred them, because that's an achievement. Um. Yeah. But I'll leave them. Let's go check if you can put roses in your mouth. <laughs> Cause I no, on your head, because I thought you could. How can you change your villages if you dislike them? I've been stuck with some that I dislike. Uh you basically have to wait for them to leave. <laughs> they if you see a thought bubble above their head, that means they are thinking about something and uh they can be thinking about other things, but it also could be that they are thinking of leaving. And if they are thinking of leaving uh, you can tell them to go, so. But yeah, there's no way that you can just like, kick them off. I've got some 
crowns, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the flowers. I, sh I have a rose in my inventory. You can't put roses on your head. I had no idea. I thought you could. Because um, I have them here, right? Yeah, pink rose and white rose, because I have them in the thing. I had no idea you couldn't. I just never noticed. Why? Because like, you could put the rest of the flowers in your hair, and they look really cute. That might be something I do for spring. Where's my hat? Oh, well, I can just like exit out without changing. Hmm, anyway, the purple hyacinths that I, I can't pronounce, I don't know how to say that. Kind of look like lavenders. Is, lavenders, is that why you like them so much? Yes. <laughs> if you use amiibos, you can choose the village you replace with the amiibo that you use. Okay, well, yeah, there you go. I didn't know that because I don't use amiibos, but you could do that. Of course, I keep going in and out of my house and forget to get rid of stuff. Lovely. Can you see the chat? I can. <laughs> and I'm talking to the chat. <laughs> Roses in the mouth in the mouth is weird. Ah, uh, it's like a tango thing, right? I mean, at least that's what I think it is. Is that not what it is? I want to get rid of all of this because I'm probably gonna go into the ocean now, and I need an empty inventory for that. Hey, there we go. I want to craft some fish bait because I don't think you can put can you put manila clams just on their own in your inventory I have no idea I always craft the bait first and then put them in my inventory because they stack that way but I'm also pretty sure that you can't just put them in your inventory I don't know <laughs> it can go in there all right let's go assess these fossils just in case I have the T-Rex butt, which is the only thing that I'm missing, I think. I've got all the rest of them. I'm pretty sure. Unless I forgot something, I don't know. Uh, and then we're gonna go... I keep forgetting words. What was I gonna say? We're gonna go uh, deep sea diving, yeah. <laughs> Pardon me. Hello, hello, yes. How may I be of service? Please assess my fossils. Doo -doo. Uh, how do I get the original switch in Animal Crossing? Do you mean like as an item in the game? I don't remember. <laughs> I think um the what is it called? The ABD? No, not the ABD. Like the machine inside where Nook is sells them sometimes and potentially nooks itself I don't actually know <laughs> is blathers name a pun yeah it's because he blathers on all the time like which means basically like speaking a lot like he talks a lot <laughs> he blathers on what did I get Got a bunch of stuff. Alright, I'm gonna. I, I keep them because I give them as gifts to villages. You can buy it in Nook Shopping, but it's really expensive. Yeah, Nook Stop. That's what it's called, the Nook Stop. I used to sell all my fossils. Stonks, yeah. I mean, I keep them because they're good gifts, but otherwise I would sell them as well, yeah. They sell for quite a lot as well. What's the goal for Animal Crossing? There is no goal. You make up your own goals. That's why I say, like, it's a really cool game, but if you don't like those kinds of games, then maybe it's not for you. Like, it's a game without goals. Like, you decide what you want to do, and you do it. <laughs> the goal is general expansion. The goal is whatever you make it to be. Like, people uh, create challenges for themselves. Like, ooh, creating an island with no terraforming, or... People just go visit friends a bunch and don't really care about um, creating their island. I don't know, like, you, whatever you want it to be. But the main goal of the game typically is just, like, to make your island pretty. So there you go. I'm looking for a scallop, if anybody's wondering. I need a scallop. There we go. <laughs> Uh, does anybody know if there's any new sea creatures for February? I have no idea. 
The water must be freezing. Surprised your character hasn't caught hypothermia. Do you know what? I think about that every single time I do this in winter. I also started thinking about that in <laughs> uh, in autumn. <laughs> Gotta work. Do your friends call you Masha or uh, Maria? Is, or is Masha just for YouTube? Uh, my English friends typically call me Maria. My Russian friends call me... Oh, I was wondering what that was. My Russian friends call me Masha. Because that's what my name is in Russian. I used Masha for YouTube just because I thought it sounded better with knots. Like Maria knots doesn't sound as good as Masha knots. I don't know. Why is Jake so salty? I don't know. Jake is Jake is salty. He's my friend from university. If anyone doesn't know, Jake, why are you so salty? I don't know. That's a lot of Nook miles. Yeah, I mean, I've been playing for a while, and I also don't use them. <laughs> like, whenever I go uh, hunting for villagers, first of all, I don't do that very often because I usually just don't let my villagers leave whenever they ask because I want them to stay. Mm. I also just like use up. I usually give myself a limit of like 10 to 15 tickets max. Usually even five is enough. And then I take whoever I find, because I don't have specific villages that I'm looking for. Like I don't particularly care who I get. I got this switch in October. That's how long I've been playing on this island for. I've been playing in total since July, but I used to play on Stefan's switch, which I had to give back to him. Mm. Are you Russian? I'm Russian and British, yeah. Uh, both languages are my uh, native languages. Although I did learn Russian first. Um, and uh, I grew up in both countries. I spent uh, from three years old to ten years old I spent in London. And then from ten years old to nineteen years old I spent in Moscow. Well, not only, but Russia. Okay, mostly in Moscow. Uh, and then from 19 to nearly 23, I'm nearly 23, uh, I've been here. So there you go. My life story. I also lived in France for like a year as a kid when I was like two to three, but I barely remember that, so I don't know if that really counts. <laughs> uh, do you have any tips on how to get lots of Nook Miles or Bells? Um, Nook Miles do the Nook Mile Plus tasks, which if you don't have... Uh, you can unlock somehow. I don't remember how to unlock them, but talk to Tom Nook and eventually you'll unlock them. Um, for bells, I think an orchard is a good way. Selling fruit is a really good way. Deep deep, deep sea diving for sea creatures is a good way because they sell for a lot. Selling fossils that uh, blathers doesn't... Oh, I hate this when this happens. Like I'm swimming in circles right around it and I can't get to it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Selling fossils that Blathers doesn't need is a good way. Uh, why does this happen to me? I'm like right above it and I can't... There we go. <laughs> you can swim in this game? Yeah, you need a wetsuit which you can buy... I think at the Nook Stop and potentially at... Mm, like at Nook's Cranny as well? If I remember correctly. I'm not... I can't remember. Uh, but you need to wear that wetsuit which oh, I'll show you and then once you get to the water just press a but the best way is to like jump in which you can do by running and then pressing a and it like jumps in I thought the wetsuit was just for looks no no you can swim and then you get deep sea creatures like this uh, which is another collectible Mm, oh, not in this place. Not here. No, here. If you open your Critopedia, you've got fish, insects, and sea creatures. I haven't got many, but well, I've got about half, actually. Um, so there you go. I mean, ideally, you wouldn't be wearing boots and a hat for this as well, but or a bag on your back. But, you know, also, ideally, you wouldn't be swimming in the winter. <laughs> it's a game. <laughs> Let's not overthink things. I'm trying to find a scallop. I try to find a scallop every single day. Do you know what? Yesterday, I logged on. I was playing yesterday. I was trying to find a scallop, and it was the first thing that I found. I was so happy. <laughs> the flat worm is new in February. It's out 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. Well, there you go. Thank you very much. So I should get it now at some point. Maybe. 
How long have you been streaming? By the way, I love your videos. Thank you. I've been streaming for an hour now. I don't know how long the stream is gonna last, by the way. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, I wasn't planning on streaming today, but it is what it is. <laughs> we shall see. I'm gonna play for a bit. I'm having fun right now, so. Uh, where are the scallops? The reason I'm looking for a scallop is I don't remember. Can someone put his name in the chat? <clears throat> I don't remember what the character is that likes the scallops. I don't remember his name. But basically, there is this character in the game that really likes scallops. So whenever you find them... Pascal, thank you. Yes, Pascal. Uh, whenever you find a scallop, Pascal comes up to you. Swims up to you. And asks if you can share that scallop with him. And... I always say yes, because I'm a nice person. <laughs> and then he gives you something in return. It's either, like, he can give you DIY recipes for, like, the mermaid furniture set. Uh, I'm assuming there's wallpaper, actually, with it as well. Um, or he can give you, like, clothing. I got a mermaid dress once, and it was really cute. Or he can give you... What are they called? The pearls. He can give you pearls. And you use those pals to craft uh, said <laughs> DIY recipes. And you can only do that once a day. You can find more scallops throughout the day, which you can then like donate to platters or whatever. Um, but you can only get a something from Pascal once a day. So I try to do that every day. A lot of sea creatures are leaving in February. I think I've caught everything I need to. But... I was just wondering if anything joined. Do you know, I saw a, a tiger beetle the other day. <laughs> and I got so freaked out because I forgot that it was February. <laughs> I forgot that it was February 1st and I saw this tiger beetle and I was like, what are you? Because there's barely any um, like bugs in winter and then this tiger beetle just sh showed up out of nowhere and I was like, what is this? Do you time travel? I don't typically time travel, but I did time travel specifically for this stream because I wanted to... Uh, because for me right now it's one in the morning and I wanted it to be light outside, which I miscalculated and now it's getting dark in the game as well. I also wanted the shops to be open uh, and my villagers to be out, out and about because they go to bed. Um, so I don't typically time travel. I don't like to. It's not... I like the feeling of logging onto the game and it being in sync with your time. I, I have no judgment to people who time travel, by the way. Like... I know that people argue about this online. I don't get that. I just feel like everybody should play how they want to play. So I don't really care if other people do it, but I don't personally. Although I did today. <laughs> uh, did you hear? Apparently there is a new DIY that you can get from Pascal, which is the Mermaid Fence. I did see that, yeah. I don't have many of the DIYs, actually, from the Mermaid set. I think I have, like, two or three. Let's have a look. I think they might be at the bottom somewhere. Mmm... Where are they? I don't remember how they look like. <laughs> These are the ones I've got from Celeste. There we go. Oh, I actually have quite a few. I thought I had less. Oh, no, those might be the shell stuff. Yeah, these are the shell ones. Shell bed, shell partition, shell arch, shell speaker, mermaid shelf. There you go, that's one. Mermaid screen, mermaid dresser, mermaid flooring. And these are mermaid rug. And that's what I got, shell wand. Yeah, these are separate. So I don't have all of them anyway. I'm just, uh, I kind of ignored this feature of the game for a while because I was kind of um, a bit overwhelmed with the other features. I was just trying to figure out how to play the game. So I only really started uh, deep sea diving somewhat recently. But I'm trying. I'm trying. Did I fill up my inventory yet? No. Okay. I was so lucky yesterday. I literally went into the water and the first thing that I had was a scallop. The day before yesterday, I spent probably an hour searching for one. <laughs> if I don't find one within like the next 10 minutes, I'm probably going to switch it up because I'm just going to get bored of this. Oh, this is not a scallop. This is something really annoying. It's going really fast and I don't like it. I'm probably just going to leave it alone. These... Really fa- yeah, whatever. That's not a scallop. It's moving too fast. But those really fast moving ones are really annoying. It's either a sea pig or a lobster or something. 
they move super fast and they're just not worth it. They're worth it to get like once. I spent so long trying to catch one the other day. They're worth to get once because you want to donate them. I think I did, right? Like I didn't forget to do that, did I? I didn't see pig. Oh, right, yeah. If you see the owl symbol next to the name, that means you donated it. And I did. And I did donate this, right? Yeah. I only ever caught one of the sea pigs. Because <laughs> they're genuinely, like, I spent so long trying to catch it. It was so annoying. Mm. There we go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting so much random stuff. Does anybody remember what size the scallops are? Like, I, as I said, I'm relatively new to actually deep sea diving. Well, ish. Relatively ish. I don't remember. Well, specifically deep sea diving to find scallops. Like, I've been deep sea diving for a while, but specifically trying to find scallops uh, is something that I'm doing relatively recently. She be swimming. <laughs> I don't remember what size they are, so I, I should be just ignoring. Why are you streaming at 1am? Because I completely messed up my sleep schedule and now I go to bed at like 4 in the morning. So I'm not sleepy at all. Medium size. Oh, I'm trying to look for medium size stuff. That's not a scalp. Um, so yeah, I go to bed at like 4 in, four in the morning. So I'm not, I'm not going to be tired for a while. Um, and I just finished editing my video so I'm like done with stuff I needed to do. I actually did quite a lot of stuff today. Mm, behind the scenes stuff that you guys probably don't think about much. Is this a scallop? Does that look the size for a scallop? I don't know. No, of course it isn't. Of course it isn't. Since I live in the US, I'm glad you are live right now. Yeah, actually, I think I managed to catch some, like, uh, US people, right? Because I usually stream at, like, 5 p.m. for me, and that's way too early for you guys. Your character is so cute. Thank you. Is this a scallop? Of course it isn't. <laughs> Why am I unlucky with scallops today? Like, what is that about? Is this on Twitch? I mean, are you on Twitch? <laughs> no, no, it's on YouTube. Um, I, uh... This is not a scallop. This is not a scallop. This is something ridiculous again. Something annoying. What are you? What are you? Ah! I hate that it travels the same speed as you do and you can't catch it unless you're like... You're supposed to catch up to it over top because then you can actually catch it. And then of course it changes direction as you're doing like... I don't... What is this? Can someone tell me what this is? Because like, I know that you can tell what it is by the size and the speed. But I'm not well versed enough to actually know what this is. It's like right there. Can you not? Usually lobsters. Should I be? Like, I shouldn't be. Okay, do you know what? I don't care about you. I don't care about you. Usually lobsters, yeah. It feels like a lobster. I don't care about you. I don't need your negativity in my life. There was another one here. Right? Somewhere. There it is. I don't need your negativity in my life. I don't care about you enough to actually chase after you, so... This might be a scallop. Are you a scallop? Please be a scallop. No, of course you're not a scallop. Sweet shrimp. Can you do an island tour soon? Well, I did one at the beginning of the stream. You can watch that um, as a replay on my Masha Streams channel later if you missed it. I did one at the beginning. Um, I might do one. I don't really post gaming videos. Um, so I don't think I will. <laughs> but you can see it at the beginning of the stream. Mm. Okay, I'm getting like really tired of this. I'm gonna fill up my inventory and then if I don't catch a scallop by then, then I guess not today. Cause this is annoying. Sea slug, lovely. <laughs> Thank you so much for getting me into making braces. I've been making them for almost a year and it's so much fun. I uh, love the tutorials, keep it up. Thank you. That's really awesome to hear. It's always so sweet to read messages like that. Thank you guys for sending them. I don't might seem that I get them a lot, which I do. Uh, it might seem that I don't care about them, but I, I really do. And every single time I read one of those, it makes me really happy. <laughs> so thank you so much for sending those. Please be a scallop. I don't think it is. It's too small. 
Yeah, it's like a tiny sea slug. Ugh. I don't like that. Oh, how many slots do I have left? Two. Why am I unlucky today? It's because I was way too lucky yesterday. Do you know? Like I got that scallop first try. That was way too much luck. I used up all my luck yesterday. <laughs> uh, where'd you get your multicolored thread? Depends on what kind of thread you're talking about. I usually reference what kind of brand I'm using. Um, like if I ever post on Instagram, I always reference what thread and what pattern I was using to create that bracelet. Um, when I talk about a bracelet or something, I usually, in the video, I mean, uh, I usually reference the thread that I'm using. Uh, and you can then find that whatever is nearest to you. But the majority of my thread I get in Russia. Okay, well, we're done. I filled up my inventory. I haven't found a scallop. I'm tired of this. Oh, and we're back, right back where we started. We're actually going in here. Why are you looking for scallops? Because you can get DIY recipes for those. Uh, Pascal comes, which is a character, and then asks for you to give the scallop to him. And if you do, he gives you DIY recipes sometimes, and I want them. Okay, I'm just selling all that because I don't need it. <clears throat> I've been subscribed since you had like 30,000 or something and I just enjoy your videos uh, a lot. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for sticking around. 30,000 was what, like a year ago, I think. <laughs> Thank you for sticking around. You play Animal Crossing? I do and I love it. <laughs> Thank you for coming. All right, uh, just let's sell all of this. I don't need any of it. I don't need any of it. Go away. Mm. There we go. I wonder how many I'm gonna get. Bells, I mean, 20. I'll take it, I'll take it. 23,000 is good, that's a good amount. It's a good amount. Do you know what, let me donate. Uh, not donate, let me get rid of some of my money here. <clears throat> I subscribe. Why, thank you. <laughs> I mean, if you subscribe for Animal Crossing, you're going to be disappointed because I make friendship bracelet videos, but uh, thanks for coming, I guess. Just a daily reminder, you're beautiful and you don't deserve any hate. Your tutorials are amazing and help me so much. Thank you. I don't get that much hate. Uh, I do get hate comments um, occasionally, <clears throat> but I don't get that much hate, which I'm very grateful for. Thank you for not hating on me. <laughs> Uh, also, uh, I'm glad my tutorials helped you. That's awesome. I got three stars on my island, so Slider comes tomorrow, right? I think he comes the day after you get three stars, and then he usually comes on Saturdays. Why would anyone hate you? You are so awesome. I mean, it's fine that, you know... Uh, okay, I want to withdraw first. It's okay that some people don't like me. Like, it, I don't... Like, that's just normal. I don't have this need to be liked by everyone. So I don't really mind when people don't like me and that's totally fine. But yeah, some people are very aggressive with like actual hate comments and such. Uh, people like attack my appearance. People um, <clears throat> say that my tutorials don't make sense at all. Uh, and that I am terrible at making bracelets and I shouldn't be making tutorials if I don't know what I'm doing. And you know, like it, it's... I talk about this in a video. I'm posting a video uh, this week, on Wednesday actually, on my second channel, which is Maria Makarova, which is linked in the description. Uh, I'm posting on my second channel, which is basically a questions for a YouTuber video, where you guys ask me a bunch of questions on Instagram about what it's like to be a YouTuber and such. Um, and I answer them in that video. Mm. And I talk about hate comments there as well, so you might hear me talk about it more, but I'll reiterate here. Um, who's gatekeeping costs? People are, trust me. But like, there's a way to distinguish between people, like, no, I'm, I wanna get rid of this flower patch. Uh, there's a way to distinguish, like, some people don't understand tutorials, uh, or just like criticizing something specific that I'm doing, and like, they don't like a certain way that I explain something, and that's fine. Like, I am very much open to criticism. In fact, uh, a lot of the criticism that I have gotten in my early days helped me make my tutorials better and more understandable for people. So I very much appreciate criticism when it's constructive, uh, but there is a very clear distinction as to when it becomes like actual hate. And I get that. I don't get too much. Like, don't worry, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why we started talking about that anyway. 
So I want to get rid of this uh, flower patch because I use this to breed blue roses and I think I've got more than enough blue roses now anyway. Uh, I want to get rid of this entirely. I could use this to breed uh, golden roses because if you've got black roses and if you water them with a golden watering can, which you get for uh, getting a five star island, um, you can breed golden roses. But if I, I don't particularly want golden roses. Uh, but even if I did get them, I would probably breed them somewhere else. So I'm gonna get rid of this entire, <clears throat> get rid of this entire area. I have no idea what I'm gonna put here instead. Any ideas? What should I put under my house? Like, I don't know. I'll think about it. I wanna, like, whatever I'm thinking about, like, what I should do with a certain area, just go on Pinterest. <laughs> and look what other people do with their islands. Mm, that's usually a good way to tell. But we will see, I don't know. Uh, I just wanna get rid of this for now because I like don't need it. And then every single time it rains, all of this explodes with more flowers and then I have to go through and get rid of all of those. So, yeah. Hope you don't take those mean comments seriously. No, don't worry. I mean, um, no, I don't. Like whenever someone makes fun of you for something, like if you don't actually believe it yourself, it's very easy to brush it off. And that would be my advice. If anyone is getting hate. I saw this TikTok video the other day, which made a really good analogy. Like if you are, and I say this in the video, so you might hear that in the video again. <laughs> if you are like really, really tall and someone is making fun of you for being short, you're not gonna internalize that, are you? Cause like, you know you're tall. You're just gonna think like, what is this person thinking? Like, why are they making fun of me being short when I'm clearly not. Like, what, what, what is going on here? Like, you're gonna probably think that that person is crazy and that something's wrong with them. Same thing about basically everything else. Um, like, if someone is making fun of you for something and you don't actually believe it yourself, it's really easy to just, like, not care. <laughs> so that would be my advice to people. Uh, Masha, go fix your sleep schedule. Wake up early so you feel tired and go to bed early. Nah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'll fix it eventually, but I don't have anything to wake up to early. We're in lockdown, you know, like nothing is happening. I stay at home all day. I mean, I work, so I've got like stuff to do, but my work is also independent from time constraints. Like I post videos usually at a certain time, but like I can make them whenever. It doesn't really matter. Dedicated to fix your sleep schedule. <laughs> Maybe at some point. I'm in lockdown, you know, like nothing is happening. Absolutely nothing is happening. My life consists of staying home. I went to the health center today because I needed to change my address and you can't, can you, can someone explain to me? Like, what is the logic of me moving house within the same neighborhood? I have to change my address with the health center. That makes sense. I get that. I get that. Because like they send you documents and if whenever like I get invited to take the vaccine because they're like rolling it out in, um, in chunks, like whenever I get invited to do that, I would be sent a letter and like for general updates or anything, like they send you letters to your house. So I need to have my address be up to date. What is the logic of me having to physically go there to update my address? Like why do I have to go to this health center in person, fill out a form with a physical pen to be able to change my address? Like are we not living in the 21st century where we've got computers? Are we not living in the midst of a pandemic where we are trying to limit human contact? Like what is the point of me physically going there, touching the pen, touching the paper, giving it to you? Like what, why? Like it would be so much easier if we had like a portal somewhere or something. Cause like I would, you know what? I would understand that if, like they would somehow check my ID, which they didn't, which I also think is kind of, of course that happened, which I also think is kind of ridiculous because like anybody could have gone there and said my name and date of birth and just changed my address. Um, or like if they asked for proof of address or something in person. Yeah, there's a link to my Discord in the description. But, they didn't, like, I just had to go there and like literally fill out a paper form and that's it. Anyway, I think that's kind of ridiculous. What's your Instagram? My Instagram is Masha underscore knots. It's also linked in the description. I have to update my passport in person. I don't understand why exactly. Like it makes absolutely no sense. The link to my Discord is in the description. If you play Animal Crossing, um, then definitely join the Discord because I will be giving away the DIYs in an event at some point, probably next week or this week. I don't know, at some point soon. 
I have a bunch of DIYs. Like, look how many DIYs I've got. If you want these DIYs, I'll be giving them away. Also, like, you can just meet more people uh, that play the game. And uh, we do trades and stuff and events. It's fun. Come join the Discord. What is your favorite book? I don't really have a favorite book. I'm rereading the Harry Potter series. Those are my comfort books as kids. As a kid. I really like them. Um, can you friend me on Bracelet Book? I really can't. I'm sorry. I have like 6,000 incoming requests and you have to click on them individually and then when you do the whole page reloads. So I, I literally cannot. I, I asked the admin if he could like make an acceptable button. <laughs> like please just make an acceptable button. He said he'll consider it. So maybe when he does that I'll just like accept everyone. What's the code for your paths? I love them. Ah! The brick path. Is there some way I can see? On here? This is what they're called. Brick in a bull. <laughs> brick in a brr. <laughs> like it's bottom right, uh, top left and so on. Brick bottom, brick corner, brick left, brick right. Like this is what they're called. I don't know if... Like how do I see their number for them? I don't know. I'm sorry, but that's what the bricks are. That's basically the only path that I really use consistently so far. Which Harry Potter book are you on? I'm on the fourth. I'm on the fourth as well. I'm reading the Yule Ball scene right now. I'm very, very slowly reading them. Uh, I, I very slowly reading them. I forget that I'm reading. <laughs> Can you open your gates? I'm so bored. No, I won't be opening my gates today on stream. I'm sorry. Uh, I already explained earlier, but I have a trouble with my internet connection uh, and I just can't do it right now. But maybe on a future stream. Your island is beautiful, thank you. Thank you, it's a work in progress, but I love it very much. I watched the first Harry Potter movie tonight. Uh, I've taken every single house to test there is, and I'm definitely a Ravenclaw, same. Welcome to the house. <laughs> uh, you can just search for the design name now, I don't think you need the actual code. Well, I gave you the name, so hopefully you can find it. Do you have snow? No, London never gets snow. Like, very occasionally does London get snow. We had snow the other day that was on the ground for like maybe an hour and everyone went outside and started playing snowballs and it was so cute. And then it all melted away. <laughs> because of course it did. Because <laughs> London never gets snow. It's sad. Masha, why do you stream on YouTube now instead of Twitch? Ah, oh, just cuz. I went to Twitch, like my reasoning of going to Twitch in the first place was because it had cooler features, um, like with the channel points and such. Um, well, and other, and other features, but those are just what come to mind right now. Um, but they don't really fit with my style, or my, my content, like, you know what I mean? Like, uh, channel points and channel like rewards for the streams make sense for people who do gaming content because like you can redeem a reward for the person to do something within the game but they didn't really make much sense for my content i struggled to find any use for them and that was really like one of the main reasons i went to twitch in the first place because it had like more functionality but in reality uh there's more people on youtube like just generally speaking like i've got a hundred thousand subscribers here and I had, what, three? I don't remember. Something like that on Twitch. So it just makes more sense, I think. I might go back on Twitch at some point, but for now I'm streaming on YouTube. Uh, I don't have a dream code right now. I, I, I don't. <laughs> Should I? Should I just do it now? Oh no, I'm not connected to the internet right now. So I can't do it now. Actually, am I? What if I am? Let me check. I don't know. Because the Wi-Fi that we're using doesn't work with... I'm done. Doesn't work with going to someone else's island, but it might actually work for uploading my island. I don't know. It's, just, it's really weird to explain, but it, that's just the case. Uh, definitely not a dodo code. I won't be opening up for dodos today. Do you have any tips on Animal Crossing? I'm really needing them. I mean, what specific tips are you looking for? Like, what stage of game are you in? My overall tip, which I mentioned at the beginning, is just like, don't get overwhelmed by other people's islands. Uh, and just think that you have to make yours absolutely perfect. 
but also like I don't know um connect with people in the community definitely there we go how to put my island together uh I go for inspiration on Pinterest I think Pinterest helps a lot uh f in terms of inspiration welcome Doo -doo 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 -doo. how may I be of ass assistance I'd like to share a dream Important information. Okay. Yes. 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 It's also called Knottsville. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, my island is called Knottsville because I'm very creative. Uh, I will connect to the internet and upload your dream to the library. Oh, there is something else you might be interested to know. Visitors to your dream can bring back... Any designs that is on the portal in your custom designs portal. Check your custom design portal before uploading your dream to see which designs will be made available. Try thinking of those designs as not so souvenirs. Okay. Enough explanations. I shall now collect and compile a memory of Knottsville. Are you ready? I'm ready. Is it gonna be at the time of day that I'm in right now? Probably, right? Is that how it works? I've never shared my dream address anywhere before, so you guys are gonna get an exclusive view. I shall collect, collect and compile. Please do that. Close your eyes. Picture what you love most about Knottsville. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Alright, let's do that. Don't expect anything special. I mean, I did a tour of my island at the very beginning. Uh, it's, uh, it's very much a work in progress. Very much a work in progress. Each bite now reclines in its new home. <laughs> there you go. If you guys want to take a picture of that or screenshot that or whatever, let me actually screenshot that myself. <laughs> you can visit my island now. If you want to. Oh. I'm going to leave this on screen for a bit. Who are your villagers? I'm going to show you in a second. I've already shown them like twice this stream, but people are just joining, so I'll show them again. What inspired you to start YouTube? I originally wanted to... I'm going to leave this up on the screen for a bit and then we're returning to the game. I just want to make sure that everyone gets this. Uh, everyone who wants this gets this. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, what inspired you to start YouTube? My first video was posted in 2010 and it was a tutorial for like the Chevron, I think, or something like that. Um, and I originally made that because when I was learning to create bracelets, there weren't many tutorials on the internet. The way that I learned, I mean video tutorials specifically on YouTube, the way that I learned uh, was mainly through like photo tutorials on friendshipbracelets.net and uh, like different forums, bracelet forums and such. When did I start bracelets? In 2009. Um, so yeah, I just realized that like there's not a lot of tutorials, so... I might as well make my own. So I made a video, I made like five videos around 2010, 2011, then I stopped. <laughs> and then I made a few videos in 2015 in Russian on this channel, which is when I created Mush Nuts. And then I stopped and then I restarted in 2018. Okay, I'm, if everyone got that, can someone, like I, I if any of my, uh, I don't know how many people are here. So if any of my uh, mods are here, which I don't think they are actually, can someone please make a note of this? And if anyone asks later, um, just give them the code, please. Anyway, I'm, I'm going off of this now. Uh, your dream address is currently set to appear on your passport and on your island's map. If you don't want your dream address to be displayed on your passport or map, let me know. Lastly, do you remember that do you remember that your dream will not reflect any changes made to Knottsville after an upload? However, as your island is developed, the dream can be refreshed. I can only update a dream once a day. As you've been so generous, I want to request something. If something occurs that I am asked to surprise someone with a dream of my choose Oh, it sometimes asks. Uh, but I would never share a dream without permission, and so may I surprise others by sharing Okay, whatever. That's fine. Uh, what is a moderator on YouTube? Oh, uh, it's a moderator for the Twitch chat, so like people who can- people- blah. My mods, which I don't think any of them here, because I don't have that many, they can basically like mute or ban people for spamming or swearing or just being inappropriate in the chat, which has never really been an issue and please don't take that as a challenge. Let's just keep this wholesome, please. Um, yeah, the community is pretty nice, so you guys 
don't really do that, but I like to have a few months in general just to be them. May I be of any other assistance? Please wake me up. When did you start bracelets, Masha? I started in 2009, so 12 years ago. I'm old. <laughs> What's up? Just joined. Hello. I'm not doing much. I'm just hanging out. How do you become one? How do you become one? How do you become one? Like this. Now you're a mod. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> uh, please don't start asking. I just did that for fun. I'm not gonna start making other people mods. Like, I'm just not gonna do that right now. I don't really need mods, but... Since you asked, I decided it would be fun. <laughs> I don't really need mods, to be honest. Like, I just did that for fun. <laughs> yes, you're a moderator now. Um, don't abuse the power, please. <laughs> Alright, oh, look at that beautiful sunset. I absolutely love the weather in this game. It is adorable. Alright, let's go do my dailies, because I actually haven't done... This looks so empty now. <laughs> I need to think of what to put here. I might actually move my DIY stand to here. I need to think of what I want to do in this like giant area. I might break it up with like cliffs or something. And then... I don't know. I've got a few ideas. But it's not what we're going to be doing right now. Not what we're gonna be doing. Let's sell the remaining flowers because I don't need the red roses. I don't I don't like them I don't like I actually do like the red roses. I actually like how they look but I have no idea where to use them because I prefer my island to look sort of uh, More on the natural side like I I love the way like the cottage core islands look but I can never achieve that That's an insane amount of effort uh, but I do like the general vibe of islands being more chill and natural looking. And I don't think that the roses really fit with that. The roses, like, uh, maybe that's just my real life knowledge, like, intercepting. Roses are very difficult to maintain in real life. Like, they require a lot of care. And, like, whereas, like, you can plant these, like, cosmos and hyacinth, I don't know how to say that, plants, like, they look like they can just, like, be in the wild. Um, same with the windflowers, they're just plants that can just grow in the wild. The lilies, the tulips, the mums, they just look like plants that can grow in the wild. The roses don't grow in the wild. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know where to use them. So I just don't. Oh, you can start seeing the stars. Oh, I love the sunsets in this game. It's like 2am for me right now, but I'm enjoying a sunset. I don't care. All right, let's hit these rocks. I don't really need to hit these rocks, but I like to. Basically, by hitting the rocks, that's the only way you can get um, gold. And you don't get gold very often. It's like a 1% chance or something. I, I might be lying, I don't actually know. Uh, something like that chance of spawning gold when you hit rocks. But my mantra is that if you don't try it, you get a 100% chance of not getting it, right? So, oh, of course, like, why do I always miss? If you don't hit your rocks every day, why can't, why can't I do this? Then your chance of getting gold is literally zero. If I do hit my rocks every day, then my chance is a little bit higher than zero. So. I hit my rocks every day. What are all the kinds of fruits? My native fruit is peaches. You can also get apples. Pears, cherries, oranges. You can also get coconuts, which are technically a fruit, um, but they only grow on beaches. And that's it. You can get pumpkins, but they're not fruits because they don't grow on trees. They grow in the ground. I really like PewDiePie and Marzia's Island. I really like them too as well. Uh, I've seen both of their, like, seen a few of their videos on Animal Crossing, and I really like their islands as well. PewDiePie has more of a um, Actually, no, I think that's actually Marcia. She has more of a sort of industrial island with, like, actual roads and such. Anyway, I really like their islands as well. Um, I forgot I didn't have a rock here, actually. Have a rock over there. Ooh. 
Why do I always miss? Also, like, this is one of my first times. I've done it a few times before, but this is one of my first times not playing on the Switch. I usually just play on my Switch. I don't usually connect it to anything because I don't really have anything to connect it to. Like, I don't have a TV. I could connect it to my computer and just play on my computer, but I don't know. That's a bit weird. It's so cute. I have a really big screen and I think that would just give me a headache. So this is like one of the very, very rare occasions where I actually play on a uh, computer. <laughs> so this is interesting for me. All right, let's get these. Do I have enough inventory space? I do. Plenty of inventory space. Did you plant your money tree? Yes, I did on stream at the very beginning, I think. So we've got the money tree and that's fine. I'm gonna get these. Okay, get rid of that. Do you make the streams private once you end them? The streams get privated on this channel, but they are re-uploaded to my Master Streams channel. Uh, so if you want to re-watch this or any other stream for that matter, uh, you can subscribe to my Master Streams channel, which is linked in the description. I'll be re-uploading this. Is this recording? Oh, thank God. I forgot to press record <laughs> on my own, but I set it to automatically record whenever I'm streaming, so it's actually recording, thankfully. Um, I just freaked out for a second. I thought I forgot to record the stream. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, it will be re-uploaded after the stream to my Masha Streams channel, so you can watch it there. Please do a dodo code. I want to be in the line. I'm sorry, I'm not going to be doing dodo codes today. I... The internet connection that I have right now does not support um, traveling from one island to another. So I, like, I literally can't, even if I wanted to right now. I need to play around with the internet settings to be able to do that. And I will at some point, maybe. If you guys, like, I didn't realize that people were going to watch this. I honestly thought like maybe like 10 people are going to come today <laughs> to watch me play Animal Crossing. Because like I know that you guys didn't subscribe to me to watch me play Animal Crossing. So... I didn't expect there to be any interest, but if you guys are interested, I might do a sort of visiting your islands or you guys coming to my island, whatever. Stream at some point. I wasn't even planning on streaming today. This is a very impromptu stream. Are pumpkins year round? Yes, they are. I don't know why I kept them, to be honest. <laughs> I have no idea why I kept them. I just never really got rid of them. So I just uh, keep them here. Buy bell tickets with 500 nookmas. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Like an Animal Crossing meet and greet? Yeah, I actually did that with a few people. Like, um, I did a giveaway event uh, about a month ago, I think, where a few of you guys came to my island and I had a gift package. Ooh. I had a bunch of gift packages with items and bells and tickets and such on my island. And a bunch of you guys came, I think around like 10 to 15 people came. If you want to take part in events like that, you should join the Discord. I keep saying that on stream, but um, it's true. You should join the Discord. Of course it's going on the second level. Why wouldn't it? Oh, I actually got it. There we go. <laughs> I freaked out too early. I should be more chill. What's that water cooler? Let's see what that looks like. I think I already have it, actually. <sighs> You should try a Nookazon type of stream. I don't really use Nookazon that much. I don't like it. I've used it a few times and I've gotten some nice stuff there, but the way that I use Nookazon is basically like I made a huge wish list of stuff that I want and then I set items for sale of stuff that I don't need. And I basically indicate that I am not trading for bells or Nook Mile tickets because I, I don't know, I don't like the feeling of like actually paying for something. I don't know, I like trading, I don't like paying. It's, it ruins the vibe of the game. The vibe of the game is so chill. Like it's so relaxing, so chill. I don't want to introduce economy into it. It just doesn't, doesn't feel good. So I like to trade for stuff, but I don't particularly love Animal Crossing. No, not Animal Crossing, no, cause on. Cause like, People trade for like 60, 70 Nook Mile tickets, 100, 150, and I'm just like, I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna do that. Are they singing? <gasps> oh, look at that, you're so cute, you're so cute. All right, um, I wanted to show the villagers that I had because people keep asking. 
We've got Olivia, Leonardo, Sherb, Flora, Eric, Vic, Julian, Alice, Cherry, and Poppy. Someone asked for the name of the path. It was Brick something. It's literally called just Brick Path. Brick Corner. Brick... Top left corner, brick top right corner, brick bottom right, bottom left corner, left, right, top, bottom, inner corner, and so on. This is what the path is called. Uh, and this one is really cute, Snowy Stall. I think this one is also really cute, if you guys want to check that one out as well. It's for this. I think it's really, really cute, because normally the stalls don't have snow on them, for whatever reason. Um, and it adds the snow onto the stalls and it gives like little icicles and I think it looks really cute. And plus the fairy lights are absolutely adorable. <laughs> so there you go. Some people take the fun out of the game and it sucks. Yeah, I feel like trading for so many like Nook Mile tickets and such genuinely does take the fun out of the game. Is Flora still crafting? I wonder if she is. I've been streaming for nearly two hours. I think she should have stopped by now and someone else should be crafting. Oh, maybe she is still crafting, I don't know. Mm. I don't know a thing about Animal Crossing. Don't have a Switch and probably won't get one soon, but I'm here because it's Marsha. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. She's still crafting. Oh, well. I appreciate you coming. I hope you enjoy it nonetheless. Have a good time. Are you going to say something about festival? No. All right, let's go send some cards. Let's go do that. I like to send cards every once in a while to my villages. A new villager starts crafting in the beginning of each hour. Nope, it's not the beginning of each hour. Um, it would be so much easier if it was the beginning of each hour. No, I think it's like three hours or something. Every three hours. Because I, at the beginning of the stream, Flora was crafting and we've been streaming for two hours and she's still crafting. Oh, this is the wrong thing. I wasn't supposed to go here. Also, you can only get three DIY recipes from villagers a day. So it's not every hour for sure. Send a letter! You have a yellow airport. I do. A friend. Which friend? Oh, I meant... No. Oh. I meant an island friend. <laughs> uh, I meant an island friend. Oops. Send one. A resident here. That's like the first option. I somehow didn't notice it. <laughs> Who should I send a message to? Well, I'm trying to get Flora's photo. So maybe I choose her. Oh, you get the Valentine's ones. I like the limited availability cards. I'm gonna give her Valentine's. Dear Flora. Uh, will you be my Valentine? Let's just say that. Okay, actually... Yeah. Typing on this thing is not... <laughs> very comfortable. Uh, then... Uh, Top tip, if you're playing... Yes, send this. If you're playing on the Switch... Like, with the controller connected to the Switch, you can actually just, uh, like, tap your screen to type. But since I'm playing off of my computer, I can't do that, unfortunately. It's ready to send a letter. Send another one. Yes. Uh, when people send you mail, do you send them thank you cards back? Do you mean in real life or in Animal Crossing? Um, in real life, I try to. I don't send thank you cards. I send like little, just cards. Like with a little letter in them. I don't know. Mm, I guess that qualifies as a thank you card. I don't know. Um, I, I don't do it all of the time because I have... I'll send another one. Be my valentine to her. I'm going to be scandalous and ask two people to be my valentine. Um, I can't always reply because I get a lot of mail. And um, I need to send a lot of mail to my patrons, which if you want to be a patron, uh, feel free to do that. <laughs> There's a link in the description for that as well. Oh, of course I did that. Uh, but I send my patrons gift packages every other month 
um, with like string and sometimes bracelets and like charms and stuff. So I have a lot of mail to send. Uh, so sometimes I'm just a little bit overwhelmed. Mm, but when I do have free time, I try to respond, yeah. If you were asking about Animal Crossing, I don't know. But if you send them in Animal Crossing, if you send your villagers cards, first of all, I'm pretty confident in saying that it increases your friendship points. I'm not actually certain in that. But I'm fairly confident in saying that. Um, but also, yeah, they reply to you. They reply to you. I want to check uh, Abel's. I might have already checked it this morning, I don't remember, but I want to check it again. I'm not sure if letters give friendship points. To be honest, I'm not sure either. I knew that they didn't at the beginning. Like, when the game first came out, I know that they didn't. But they I, they might have patched it since then, because they also didn't reply to you before. Like, when you sent them letters, they also never replied before, but now they do. So they might have patched it, and they might have made it so that um, they you do get points for it, but I don't know. I have the majority of this, so that's all good. I have the majority of this, so that's all good. I have, don't have this. I'm going to get this, probably. I've already got the pink one, and I've got the red one. I'm going to get the blue one. Uh, I've got all of this. I think this looks absolutely disgusting. I refuse to get this. <laughs> I just think it looks gross. I really like these, but I've already got all of them, so I don't need them. Yeah, I'm just gonna get this. <laughs> Alright, do we want to go try again with the scallop? <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm kind of tired of that, but I, I've done the rest of my dailies. Like, I don't really have much else to do. I'm gonna go hit the remaining rock that I forgot to hit. But other than that, I've done all my dailies, right? I could potentially, like, chop wood. <laughs> And like shake trees as well, uh, which I like to do every once in a while because <clears throat> you've got two items <clears throat> You've got two items of furniture stuck in trees every day So if you shake your- do I do that right now? Yeah. So if you shake Your trees You can get those um, But also just like wood Maybe I'll do that instead of sh fishing or oh, deep sea diving because I'm kind of annoyed with that Two foreign fruits wrapped or assessed fossils wrapped as a gift increases friendship without ruining house interiors. I knew. I give uh, fossils. Because I have a ton of them at this point. How do you manipulate where your rocks are if that is possible? Basically, to get rid of a rock, you need to eat some fruit and then smash the rock. Um, to manipulate <laughs> where it goes is a very annoying process. Basically... You have to cover up your entire island because rocks can only spawn in areas where you've got free spaces around them because you need to be able to hit the rock. The rock only spawns if you've got like all of these spaces around it for the items to come out of. So the rock isn't going to spawn like here in between a tree and a cliff, for example, because you've got a tree and a cliff, like it, it, it can't spawn items off of it. So if you cover your entire island with stuff, and only leave the space you want the rocks to spawn in, then it will spawn there the day after you get rid of it. But that is long and tedious. You can find tutorials uh, online, like how to make a rock garden, just like Google that. Or well, I guess YouTube that. How to make a rock garden and you'll be able to find a tutorial, but it's a long and tedious process that I'm not looking forward to doing, but I will do that eventually. Also, top tip, always have your net with you whenever you're shaking trees because that way you can catch the wasps without them catching you first. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm gonna get some wood out of these um, because I have recently found myself completely out of wood. And that's not... Oh, there you go. So I need wood. I like to go around, shake my trees first, then get my axe and chop all the wood. Please notice me. I see you. I see you. I'm trying to read the chat every once in a while. Uh, oh, did I just complete a task? I did. 
I've got a song in my head. TikTok trend. Two, three. One, two, three. I keep, um, I need to plant more trees. I don't have that many trees on my island. Like, I, to the point where I don't even get the five bees to spawn. Oh, not bees, wasps. Mm, Cause you get, usually when you've got like a decent amount of trees, you get five wasps spawning on your island every day. I think I get like two. I don't have that many trees, <laughs> which means I can't get enough wood. You still get the two, um, items. I forget words. So annoying. Guys, I can see you asking for shoutouts in the chat. I have a thing about not giving shoutouts on streams purely because whenever I do that, uh, the chat becomes completely overwhelmed with people asking for shoutouts and I would much rather just talk to you guys than... Uh, keep giving shoutouts. How do I become a moderator? Do you mean on Bracebook or here? Because uh, if you're asking about me, like on the channel, uh, I don't particularly need moderators, to be honest, so I'm not really looking for them right now. Uh, if you're asking about bracelet book, the admin chooses the moderators. And it's usually people who are somehow contributing to the community. Like in a way that- oh, of course. Um, like if he notices that you are contributing to the community, then he might ask you to be a moderator. I don't know which one you were asking, so I just answered both. <coughs> oh. The first tree I axed in Animal Crossing had bees in it, so I was afraid of troubling trees after the first couple of days. Yeah, do you know what? The first day I ever played Animal Crossing, I got stung by a bee, like, straight away. That was the first thing that happened to me, I got stung by a bee. So I can very much relate to that. <laughs> There we go. Oh, I forgot to... Forgot to do this. Oh, where am I taking out a shovel? Did I get that? Sorry, I was looking at the chat. <laughs> no spam chatting, please. Thank you for modding. That was something I needed to catch because I don't actually have that. Well, I scared it off. <laughs> it is what it is. I've never played or seen someone play this before, but it looks addicting. It's a very fun game, yeah. It's, it's, it's a game that doesn't have a goal or anything. Like you just make it up as you go along, but that's my type of game for sure. I like to play games that don't have goals in them. I'm not gonna... Yep. I'm trying to shake these trees because they might have the furniture items in them. Gah, let me out. Oh my god. But I'm not gonna chop them because they're annoying. Oh, I keep forgetting about CJ. Oh, I need to fish. I forgot about CJ. Uh... I'm gonna- I, I see you guys talking about the generator, is that true? Because I have no idea about it. It actually is, oh my god, you guys are right. The generator is finally here, I'm super excited to announce- Sorry, I'm gonna read this. I'm super excited to share this news with all of you, it took us a real long time, but f um, the wait is now finally ending as the new pattern generator is here to find it. Just open up the pattern and create the pattern section. You'll see the new generator to switch on the top of the page. I had no idea about this, to be honest. <laughs> For those of you wondering, it's not the solution that martial arts is working on because that is a little bit more... Co there we go. That's why I don't know about it. Uh, it's not the solution that martial arts is working on because that one is a bit more complicated and will take some time to finish, but there's no problem. There is no problem adding it to the website too when it's done. Both of these solutions have some upsides and some downsides, but after seeing how well this new generator works, I'm not quite sure which one would win for me. The current solution is a bit less responsive than the one that Marsha is working on. The reason that it's... Um, and the reason is that it's running on our servers. It's exactly the same as the generator you've been used to, it's just been optimized for better performance. 
Uh, blah, blah, blah. The solution this Marsh is working on is a complete rewrite in a different programming language, yep, which can run directly on your website. But as I said, there's nothing holding us back from adding us adding both solutions to the site later on. The only thing is, it's not implemented to use zero knots. It's a bit more challenging than I was expecting, but definitely, yeah, that was a challenge for me as well. Uh, I honestly can't wait to hear you. Actually, let me check it out. I had no idea this was happening. He didn't tell me. <laughs> so I was a bit confused by your comments. Yeah, it cool. I wonder why he didn't tell me that. That's a bit weird. I'll message him later. <laughs> Cherry on my island might move out. A white bubble is on her head. What do I do? You can also just tell them not to move out. Don't worry. Um, when the white... Oh, cute bed. That's cool. When the white bubble appears on their head, it doesn't necessarily mean that, we're, that they're moving out. They can also just be wanting to talk to you about other stuff. But also, if they are asking to move out, you can just tell them that you don't want them to move out, so it's fine. It's fine. Nope. Alright, uh oh. Why does it say that I've been live for a minute? Did I cut out? Let me check on YouTube. Did I cut out at some point? No. On YouTube it says two hours. I wonder why it says a minute. <laughs> I don't know. Oh well. If I didn't cut out for you guys, I, did, I guess it doesn't really matter. It glitched. It, I don't know. That's weird. I'm sorry. That might have been because I was uh, reading Bracer Book. Sorry about that. Did you not hear- did you not hear what I was saying when I was reading the bracelet book thing? Anyway, in the, for, for context, I was saying that- I was reading the bracelet book post about the new pattern generator where the admin says that he uploaded a new pattern generator. It's not the one that I was working on and I had no idea that he was posting this one as well. <laughs> mm, we heard that but then after it cut out for a bit. I don't know why. I'll watch it in the replay, but I don't know why that happened. Oh well. I'm probably going to be finishing the stream now anyway, uh, purely because I've been streaming for two hours now and I've basically done everything that I wanted to, really. I wanted to replant the flowers, I wanted to do my dailies, I wanted to give you guys a bit of a tour, I wanted to catch the scallops. But that didn't happen. <laughs> so I'm probably going to go soon. Plus it's like 2am for me anyway, so I should probably go. <laughs> She's got a f in a fight with Patty. Oh, there you go. See, it's okay. But also, if if they ask to leave, you can also tell them that you like you really love them and you want them to stay, and they'll be like, "Oh, I didn't know you cared so much," and then they'll stay. So don't worry about a villager moving out if you don't want them to move out. They won't. Where's the third one? Like, oh, it's the back. It's in the back. It's in the back. Do, 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 do. There we go. I think I have a couple trees left, so that might be. I didn't shake like two of these trees, but I don't care enough to move stuff. I need to like move furniture around to get to them, and I don't care enough to do that. <laughs> so I'm just not gonna. Oh, there you go. Julian's thinking about something. She can ask me to leave. Uh, he calls me Maestro. I don't know why. I got a to prank war. And while well, I'm not sure who won the war, but I've been feeling bad about some things that I did. I got her a present. Can you help me deliver it? Oh, I don't want to. I don't want to help him deliver it because they give each other clothes. And I don't like the clothes that they give each other. Is there a way for me to deliver a present and then if they give them ugly clothes, like, for me to say, like, no, don't wear that? Because I, every single time I've done this present thing, like, you might have seen Leonardo earlier in the stream if you've been around for two hours. Uh, he was wearing, like, an apron. <laughs> I don't like that. Like, why? 
Why? Why give an apron as a gift? Like, I don't... Okay, I'm just gonna say no. Like, no. Do it yourself, Julian. Do it yourself. Figure out your own issues. I'm not... Cause, oh, of course, yeah. Because then they were... Oh, look at the poppy. She's so relieved. Because <laughs> then they were the ugly clothes and I don't like it. I just got Alice to stop wearing... Whatever she was wearing the other day. I finally got her to stop wearing that. And that was really annoying. She was wearing like a sports jacket thing that really didn't suit her. I don't know. I don't know. I also can't find the other furniture item. I think I missed like a couple of trees. Of course it has to be in those trees that I missed. Okay, I'll shake this one, although I really don't want to because whenever I do the Oh yeah, of course it's that one. Like it goes in between that rock and then I have to move the rock. <laughs> What is this? Oh, okay. I mean, I have that already, but... Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, no. Garden rock. There we go. Move, please. There you go. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna go now. We've been streaming for like two hours. I've done basically everything that I wanted to do. Uh, so I'm probably gonna go. We cleared this out. Have you started any new bracelets for February? Watch the video that's coming out tomorrow. I start like six new bracelets in that video. So yes, the answer is yes. And I do it for a video, which is coming out tomorrow. Diddy. How do I remove this? Turn off guide. Eh? Eh? Oh no. Eh. There we go. There we go. Now I'm just sitting here. I'll take a screenshot. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much for coming to the stream. Um, I had a good time. I had a good time. Uh, my island does have a dream code. I don't remember what it is, though. I'll post it. You know, if you haven't already, join the Discord. I keep saying it, but I want you guys to come play with me. So uh, we've got a special Animal Crossing tab on my Discord. I'll post my dream address there in case you want to... Uh, visit my island at some point or just meet new people. It's a fun place to be. So definitely join my discord. Thank you so much for coming I didn't realize that people would come I'm glad you did. I had a fun time. Maybe I will stream Animal Crossing again at some point Because uh, I really enjoyed it So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. There's a video coming out tomorrow at 5 p.m. London time You can translate that to your time zone on the internet um, Tomorrow's video is going to be starting bracelets so specifically <laughs> what someone asked just now. Uh, I'm also like, I released a schedule as well for the rest of the week. I've got a stream on Wednesday. Then we've got another video coming out on my second channel on Thursday. Then another stream on Friday. Then another video, which is going to be a tutorial for a wall hanging on Saturday. And then I have a day off on Sunday. So yeah, um, thank you for coming. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you later. Bye.